Hello everybody and welcome back to Cobbler's Vlogs where we're in a bit of a different setting. Um, last couple of times I've recorded the match preview in the morning and the sun has just been all in my face and I just can't really deal with it. So today we're going to be doing our Cobblers versus Peterborough United uh, match preview for tonight's game in the leasing.com trophy. A trophy that nobody really cares about but it's derby day so it would be nice to get a win over our rivals Peterborough United. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it. So at this point in the video, we'd normally look at the league table, the last few results for both sides. What we're going to look at first, though, is a head-to-head -head in, because obviously this is the Nen derby, not the Neen derby, posh fans, it's the Nen derby, say it right. Um, but looking at the record between Peterborough and the Cobblers, uh, the Cobblers have beaten Peterborough 21 times, drawn 19, um, and lost, unfortunately, 31 against the posh. Um, so we need to try and get that record improved. Uh, that's for certain. If we're looking at the table, uh, we're in Southern Group H of the Leasing.com trophy, which contains Arsenal under 21s, Cambridge, Peterborough, and Northampton Town. Northampton Town currently sit top um, of the uh, Southern Group H um, with two points. Uh, then in second, it's Arsenal under 21s with one point, Cambridge and Peterborough both on zero points. As neither of them uh, are yet to play a game in this competition. Cobblers on two points. Obviously, they got a point for the draw uh, against Arsenal. They drew one all, but they obviously got the second point for winning on penalties. Um, if we have a look at Peterborough United's last few results, um, in obviously they're in League One, the uh, the league above uh, the Cobblers in League Two. So Peterborough's last few results so far, then in August, we'll have a look at how they've started the season. They started it with a three-one defeat away, uh, sorry, at home to Fleetwood Town. Uh, they then beat, uh, they were then beaten by Oxford 1-0. Uh, they then played Oxford again in the EFL Cup and lost 1-0 again. Um, they drew 2 all with um, Ipswich, then lost, uh, beat Southend 2-0 and beat MK Dons 4-0. They also got a fantastic win at the weekend, beating Sunderland 3-0. So after a poor start, they've, uh, they've you know, picked up a bit of momentum, uh, beating MK Dons 4-0 and then beating Peter, uh, Sunderland 3-0 uh, in back-to-back -back games. Pretty impressive, um, it pains me to say, from the posh in their last few games. Looking at the Cobblers um, in their last few games, where on Saturday we obviously got that fantastic win against Plymouth Argyle, a win that we weren't expecting, of course. Um, we started the season with a 1-0 defeat to Walsall, then a 1-0 draw with Port Vale, then a defeat uh, by three goals to one in the EFL Cup by Swansea, lost to Macclesfield by two goals to one, beat Swindon 1-0, that was the first win of the season, then lost to Colchester 1-0. Uh, as I said, this time last week we beat Arsenal on penalties, um, and then obviously on Saturday the 3 will win against Plymouth. So those are the recent results um, in well for both sides, Northampton Town and Peterborough United. Let's have a look at who's going to be a threat for both teams this evening. For the danger men then, as you've just seen, so for the Cobblers, uh, Andy Williams obviously got his two goals on Saturday against Plymouth Argyle. Sam Hoskins got technically two assists, but we'll say Cobblers are saying three because he won the penalty for us. So those are the sort of you know recent um, you know informed players for the Cobblers. Um, also, Nicky Adams can be a threat. I'm not really sure what team we're going to play. I imagine Harry Smith may start up front um, in a sort of you know not a strong team, but I don't think it'd be the first team. Um, if that doesn't really make sense, does it? But looking at the posh, um, I'm going to have a look. I'm just going to read them as if they're going to play their strongest team. They're probably not going to play a strong team, um, but obviously the likes of their number ten, uh, Suriki Dembele, can cause a threat. Marcus Madison, we all know what he's all about as well. Uh, they've also signed George Boyd as well back uh, over the summer, so that's a good signing for them. They've also got the strikers, Mohamed Issa, um, and then the uh, snake himself, Ivan Tony, Northampton-born lad, Northampton Town supporter, is now playing quite well, it pains me to admit, for Peterborough United, unfortunately. So those are the players that could cause a threat. Um, Idris Kuna, uh, Kanu, sorry, could play up from Peterborough um, if they're not going to go with Ivan Tony, but we'll see how that one plays out. And then just finally, my score predictions. Um, it's a derby. I would love the Cobblers to get a win in this one. I think the Cobblers are going to get a win. Keith Curley is going to want to win his first net derby that he's ever um, been involved and managed. So I'm going to go for a 2-0 Northampton Town win. 2-0 to the Cobblers. That's what's going to happen. Uh, Sam Hoskins is going to score both goals because he's in form. He's on fire at the minute, isn't he? So yeah, that is it pretty much for this match preview uh, in tonight's game between the Cobblers and Peterborough United in the least. Trophy. Get yourself down there. Cheap tickets if you 
can. So drop a like on this video if you have enjoyed it. Um, after this, feel free to go and check out myself and Will. We reviewed the month. It's an hour long episode. We talk about everything that's happened for the cobblers in the last month. So if you could go and watch that and give it a listen, you know, we'd really appreciate that. And that shows how much you guys are loyal to us. And, you know, it really means the world, you know, your support. But yeah, enough about that. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Go and check out that thing, uh, the review with me. And we'll hit the subscribe button if you're new around here. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye bye.